Howdy there, booktube people. Welcome to my channel. Another bibliophile shoots first. My name is Gregorio, and I am ready to saddle up my horse, strap on my shooting irons, and head out to the range to keep them doggies rolling. But I have a problem. I don't own a horse. I don't own any shooting irons. And sure as heck, I don't know the foggiest thing about keeping them doggies rolling. But I have some westerns, and I can read some westerns in June. This is June on the range. This event is the brainchild of Michael K. Vaughn from his hideout in stately Vaughn Manor or the rustic Vaughn Lodge. There are no rules to June on the range. There are no prompts to June on the range. The only requirement to join this event is to read a Western, whether a short story or a novel, whether one book or many book. You just have to read a Western to participate in June on the range. And I am there. I have a whole passel of partners joining me and Michael. I will leave them, as I know, in the description for this video. So what books am I going to be reading for June on the range? The first one is an old Western picked for Roger's cheap old book club run by Michael K. Vaughan. This is The Lone Star Ranger by Zane Gray. Zane Gray is a very famous American author of Westerns. This is the story of Buck Duane, a famous gunfighter who runs into a little trouble when he guns down a man and has to go on the run and start fighting some Texas outlaws. But the Texas Rangers offer him a pardon if he is willing to seek out a very notorious outlaw named Chisaldane. And he's going to go take, take out this outlaw. The only problem is he falls in love with the outlaw's daughter. Now, I don't own a copy of this book. I will be getting it as a digital book from Project Gutenberg or from LibriVox as an audiobook. I'm probably going to go for the audiobook for this one. The second book I am going to read... And I don't know the order of these books, but Elmore Leonard's Valdez is coming. Now, I have read Elmore Leonard's crime books. He is one of America's best crime novelists. And apparently, his westerns are just as good. And this is the story of a lawman named Valdez who guns down an innocent man. And the town people are not happy with Valdez or the color of his skin. But don't cross a lawman. So I'm kind of excited for this Elmore Leonard book for me to dip my toes into his westerns where I've only known him as a crime writer. Louis L'Amour. This is Bourdine Chantry. Now, Louis L'Amour is, again, one of America's most famous crime writers. This is the story of a lawman who gets in trouble about being trigger happy. And you know, lawmen that are trigger happy 
They're either just or they're not just. And we shall see what happens to Bourdain Chantry. Butcher's Crossing by John Williams. Now, this is a book that I have read before, or should I say that I have listened to the audio book, and I found the audio book absolutely fascinating. This is a more literary Western than the Louis L'Amour or the Zane Grey, or even possibly the, the Elmore Leonard. This is the story of a um, Harvard student who wants to get in touch with nature after reading Emerson. And he goes out west and he meets up with a man who is a buffalo hunter. And the buffalo hunter says, there's a whole bunch of buffalo in the Colorado Rockies. And this, is, this part takes place in Kansas. So they go out to the Rockies to hunt the buffalo. And it is absolutely brutal what they do with these buffalo. And they are just totally obsessed with hunting buffalo. And they finally discover that winter is setting in. And the troubles are occurring because they can't get back to Kansas during this winter. They have to hold out. And I just said, this is a fabulous book. I, I, I've read it. I highly, highly recommend it. It is, again, a literary Western novel, which will absolutely have you screaming in rage about the brutality that these men do to the buffalo. The last one is going to be Warlock by Oakley Hall. I tried to read this a few years ago in this edition, and it is a fabulously written book. I just got distracted. You know how it is reading books and getting distracted. So I also have the audiobook for Warlock, and I'm going to be mostly focusing on the audiobook and um following along with passages in this book. And this is the story of a town, Warlock, that is being, let's just say, um, tormented by outlaws. And they hire a man to defend them. And um, if my eyes will, Abe McEwen is the man that they hire to defend them. And of course, trouble ensues because the outlaws are outlaws and they don't respect the law, man. And there's another character who's um, very fond of Shakespeare and the Bible, who is writing alternating chapters. It was really a good literary Western. So I want to finish it for this June on the range. And that is what I'll be reading this year. I hope you join me on the range with your horse or without your horse, with your shooting irons or without your shooting irons, keeping those doggies rolling or just not giving a fug what those doggies are doing. But read a Western for June on the range. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.